Hey guys, and welcome to our review for Widows, directed by Steve McQueen, starring Viola Davis, Liam Neeson, Elizabeth Debicki, Michelle Rodriguez, Daniel Kaluuya, Keep going. Keep Colin going. Farrell, yeah. Cynthia Erivo, Brian Tyree Henry, Spoon. Robert Duvall, there. John Bernthal, and Carrie Coons. It's a lot. It's insane. My name is Scott Ellison, joined here by Tim McGavick. I'm back again. Yeah. Back from the dead. Yeah. Yeah. We, you were here. I was in the area last two weeks. Week. Wow. Week. Mm. Also joining us is Phil Clark. Thank you for the hat memo. Appreciate it. Uh, you didn't get it. <laughs> you not my thinking cap on, watch? boys. Oh. Hats every week. Clearly they've never been on. Third chair means no hat. That's a joke. Uh, you're That's not on true. this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Also what? joining us is what? Adam Franey. Hey, guys. How are you? Glad you can make it. I'm here pretty much all the time. So uh, Pretty much. Uh, Tim, can you give us uh, the viewers a little <clears throat> synopsis of Widows? When four career crim- criminals Ooh, are killed and the money they stole goes up in flame, their wives are threatened and find themselves on the hook to repay the $2 million. $2 million. $2 million. Two million. On the hook. One month. One month. Two million. Two on the million. hook. Pay us. Two million. Well, Tim, well, let's start with you then. Oh, fuck. What do you think of Widows? You, you like Steve McQueen's work? I love Steve McQueen's work. Great. Great. Fantastic movies. Hunger. Shame. Shame. Hunger. Some hard movies to watch. But, uh... Artistic flair in those movies, a lot of one takes, you know, and gets re- pulls great performances from his actors. Oh, really? Always doing something new and exciting. I wish he did some of that in this movie. I will say. Oh! Um, I was expecting a little bit and more like from it, this. I liked it. I thought it was a solid thriller movie. There's one long take, which was an odd choice to do it in one take. I get, I get why. Like which we'll part? talk about it. Um, the, the car scene yeah. where it's like the camera's mounted on the outside of the car and Colin Farrell's talking. No, no. Oh, yes. It's the like rally a four and minute. To his house. I guess that point in that scene is to show you how close, like, the poorest area and where this guy's house is. Right. So there's, like, some just There was a reason. But, Whoa. yeah, there's some very, like, tense scenes. I thought the performances were pretty solid from most of them. Um, but a lot of them didn't have a, a lot to work with, I found. Okay. Like, Viola, I found, had a lot. And Elizabeth DeBecky had a lot to work with. The other characters kind of... Disposable. Michelle Rodriguez didn't really have much. She had that one moment. weird scene with the grieving husband, uh, which I guess was supposed to the show mother? her. The no, mother? No, the, the husband. Uh, Michelle the, Rodriguez. The goes, yes, uh, the mother with the, the kiss. Right. Yes. Right, right, yeah. right, right. So that was odd. Right. Oh, God. It's just <laughs> some weird stuff, man. And that was weird. Weirdest scene of 2018? I don't know. No. My, th- my, my theory was laughing at a lot of this. For, they were like all 60 plus. So they were laughing at Liam Neeson and Viola Davis smacking hard in the very first scene. Whoa. They're like giggling. Whoa. I'm like, whoa. I, forgot was, I don't was, know why they were laughing, but it I was I thought a, that was a bold artistic statement. It was a hard <laughs> laugh. It was <laughs> full, was, uh, like, just so these eight-year-olds open kissing. mouth. It um, set the tone, right? But yeah, I didn't love it. I was hoping I would love it. And for some of it, I was loving it. 90 I thought on Metacritic. I Daniel Kumo was you. great. wish there was more of his character. Mm-hmm. Any scene where he was like... Staring at someone? Staring at someone was <laughs> fucking intense. And waving and Felt stuff. like he was staring at me. Um, and I liked Brian Tri- uh, Tree? Tyree? Tyree, Tyree Henry's uh, role as well. But then there's a whole like other part with Colin Farrell's character, which I just did not give a shit about. Like, side plots. Side plot was... Drag- I felt the side plot drags me down quite a bit. What did you think of Colin Farrell's performance? It's very okay. Again, I don't particularly like him when he uses his American accent. Mm-hmm. I find it a lot really? weaker. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think it's always fine. No, but like he acts better when he's about, just he doesn't have to think about his voice. Like true, you can tell I, yeah, he's acting in agree. a lot of this when he's like in 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 when he's in in Bruges and he's doing his natural Irish accent. Fantastic. Right. Okay. Shout out to <laughs> temporary producer Pete in Bruges, his favorite movie. Okay. I know him very well. Um. Yeah. Just I thought it missed on it's some stuff. I thought the plot was pretty weak, and I thought there could have been a, with Stephen <clears> Queen <throat> directing. I thought there'd be a lot more interesting stuff. Especially surrounding, like, the heist. Like, there's mm. a heist that happens at the we'll, end. We'll get to that. And then <laughs> you think it's going to be, like, a, a single take. I'm like, oh, this is going to be right. great. And then it cuts. I'm like, I don't know, it's just a standard thriller heist movie that yeah, it's okay. Like but there's, like, some cool parts right. in it. But <sighs> let's, jump, let's jump. So you're lukewarm on it. I'm lukewarm. I really wanted to love it. I thought I would love it. Let's jump over to you, Phil. What do you think about Widows? I liked it. Yeah. I, I did like it. Um, I don't think it's amazing. Really? Um, but it definitely has some good elements that I was like intrigued with. Yeah. 
I thought some of the characters were really well fleshed out, mm-hmm. like you said, like Michelle Rod. Well, less so Michelle Rodriguez, but uh, Elizabeth Viola Debicki Davis. or Viola Davis. Yeah. yeah, Elizabeth Debicki. Like they had much more in them. I wish there was more of the, I guess, secondary characters because I felt like they were kind of there. They weren't really impacting the, oh, yeah. the plot and the narrative or anything like that. Mm. Um, it reminded me a lot of Killing Them Softly in a lot of ways. Interesting. Um, Interesting. And I really liked how grimy and scummy everybody was. Like there were no <laughs> like there were no characters that were like this character is like the morally good character. Like everybody had a little bit of dubious yeah. devil it like yeah, you, you kind of really felt like it was a bit of an underworld like cuz yeah. everyone like the people who get robbed, the people who are like stealing from them, like everybody's just yeah. a little like, bit even, suspect. Like, the priest has like an angle, yeah. And, like every mm-hmm. like, and I felt like that really engaged me because like these characters seemed more real. Like if there was like the one morally, like the priest is this nice bastion of hope. It's like no, then it, it would have brought him down. But even mm-hmm. he's a little shady. Like I like that all these characters were, had like many different layers to them. I thought that was really interesting, even if I didn't love the rest. Have of Have you movie. ever seen a uh, Steve McQueen movie? Yeah, Before Hunger you, really. Seen Hunger? Yeah, really Hunger fucked. really fucked with me. That's a one-time watch. That's it's a great. I, was, <laughs> I <laughs> once. It's good. I see <laughs> Hunger. I, I I would watch Hunger again before I watch this yeah. again. Shame. Seen I shame? have seen Shame. I vaguely recall it. Yeah. I didn't remember thinking like that was. You wouldn't forget good. one part of it. Ooh. A certain member of that film, if you will. Certain. Certain members t- member. Fast. That I. Bender. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fast. Throw back to episode bender. one for everybody. Um, but no, I, I like this. You movie. liked it. Yeah, I don't think it was amazing, but I don't think it was terrible. I was expecting it to be fine, and it, I was pleasantly surprised that it was better than fine. It's getting buzz. It's getting Oscar. Yeah, buzz. and our theater was Big packed. Nine D M Metacritic. Like, My theater's packed too, actually. It was busy, which was cool to see because like there are a lot of, not that this is an, a way to see a good movie, but there were a lot of minority characters in it, so it's nice to see that yeah. movies with minority characters not just about minority characters, like Crazy Rich Asians are getting big buzz at the, the cinema. It's good to see mm-hmm. that, too, from a, yeah, it was a, cool. a film standpoint, I guess. That was nice to see. Cool. Absolutely. Adam, what did you think, what did I think? about Widows, a Widows directed by Stephen Queen? Well, Sorry, Bill Davis and Liam Neeson. I thought this movie would be amazing. Mm-hmm. You thought that? I did think that. Interesting. Oh yeah, I thought it. I thought mm-hmm. it. I did. We all did. Mm-hmm. We all did. Mm-hmm. We saw. We all saw the trailer. <laughs> I think we all liked Steve McQueen. The trailer was fire. The trailer was fuego. <laughs> I went in. I sat down. The movie started. And it was good, not great. <laughs> <laughs> I I agree with you guys. Yeah. Like, well, I don't want to sound like I like hated it or anything. No, no, I don't hate it. I definitely liked I can't it. Can't believe that you hated it. Uh, Worst it's, movie of the year. Honestly, man, I haven't seen a worst movie this year. <laughs> like, uh, no, I, I, li- <laughs> I liked it a lot. I thought it was very good. I, I could pick it apart. I was like, there's yeah. a lot of stuff that I was like, what? Yeah. Like, s- head-scratching moments, you know. We'll get to some of those. Scenes that just go nowhere. The the kiss that we're all, the you guys named. Kiss. Just... <laughs> One of the most <laughs> awkward things I've ever seen. I don't think it was on purpose. Phil, easy on the set, eh? I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I thought it was weird. I didn't think it was. Like I understood what was going on. I understood logically, but like I was like, they were both just uh, in this weird grieving God, moment. Man. You know, as soon as they started uh, hugging, I was like, they're gonna. No. I thought they were gonna go farther with it, but they. Oh. Steve McQueen yanked this. They back. they were both grieving in a really weird way. He loves and to show like that. cringe shit. He loves that. Yeah. Like even when uh, um, Jamal, the character Jamal, grabs the dog, yeah. and it, like gives it a shake or yeah. whatever, and it's like freaking. That's like Steve McQueen. That's right in his wheelhouse. Just show you it's something like, where you're like, dog. <gasps> oh. yeah. My audience was literally like, oh my goodness, <laughs> right? Not the dog. Like, literally, someone said, oh people my getting goodness. murdered. <laughs> It's hilarious. People getting murdered. Yeah. Really. Not the dog. You can get <laughs> shot. No, no, they, they, they're the not like the. Yeah. Shot either. They're, they're like, oh my god, this is this movie? What? Do it again. Do it. Yeah. So overall, you. I liked good. it. I thought some of the action was good. What very little action there was was really well filmed. Like the yeah. opening action. Opening heist. Heist was great. F- fucking fantastic. I was like, oh, this is. Yeah, it was 
you know, the um, camera being, like, in the back of the van with the door flying off and yeah. all that was great. Yeah. I thought Liam Neeson was really good, also. Like, he actually acts in it, which is nice. He's not just... He's great. He's not just taken guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, we think of a little Patrick Swayze, you know, ghost out of him, you know? <laughs> right, right. Shout out Patrick Swayze, R.I.P. Um, I thought that... Ghost that... action. <clears throat> <laughs> and the, uh, she's staring out the window. Yes, yes. I thought the main widows were all pretty much great. I, l I liked all their performances. Uh, I liked that they all had baggage, like you were saying. Like everybody was kind of gray. Nobody was perfect. Nobody was like evil, uh, except Colin Farrell. I thought he was bad. I would say performance-wise, even like I hated his like. Yeah, my wife's talking. Uh, you know, Chicago, Mega, uh, Chicago baby. Damn like, my life. <laughs> and then like just accent that? slipping every now and then. Yeah. Like that's why I don't like. Yeah, him. you know it's gonna be very hard. Like, <laughs> he's like he had some weird inflections. Yeah, I'm like, dude, don't do an accent. Why, you, like, just don't do one. Or don't be in the movie would be cool. Like if you're. You have accents in the U.S. Like. Yeah, I, that's fine. I think that in so many movies, I'm like. I've met Irish people. You can be Irish and not be in America. <laughs> yeah, you can it's fine. be British and be anywhere in the world. Imagine that. Like, you don't have to do a bad American accent. Yeah, right? but his character was, like, generations, like, living in Chicago, right? And right. Like, more and more. And That's so why they couldn't really do that. You'd think it would sound authentic then. Just not like else. a cartoon. Right. Right? Like, Robert Duvall was great also, actually. Yes, he was very good. He, he blew me away. When I loved that, his scenes. That argument I mean, yeah. scene, the main, like, when he's trying to give him advice. Yeah. Oh, he was right. great. But I just, yeah, I thought Colin Farrell was bad. Um, mm -hmm. And, yeah, there's just, it's kind of spoilery, like, a lot of my problems, but there's a lot of scenes that went nowhere. We'll get to it. And we'll I have some, I also have a question that I asked you leaving the theater. I mm -hmm. guess like, we can get to it in spoiler, but... Yeah what exactly happened to a certain character who I thought was really important, who just... Just not important. <laughs> one would say the main point of the film was just not addressed. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm going to jump in. Um, I like this movie. I think I agree with a lot of what you guys are saying. Five? Um, yeah, six. <laughs> uh, fucking loved it. Best no, picture. It, it was fine. I, I agree with those. There's some, some issues with this film. Film. film, but um, overall, I just I enjoyed it. You know, um, some great action performances overall were good, except for, I, you know, Colin Farrell, I thought I, it wasn't distractingly bad for oh. me. Like, it just wasn't a standout performance or anything like that. Okay. But um, I'll take it. Yeah, I thought all of the main characters were good. I actually like Elizabeth Debicki. Who, who's yeah, this one? Like the, the, the tall blonde. The tall blonde. Like the damaged one, John Bernthal's wife? Yeah. Yes. Little? yeah. I like thought she was great. Like, physically and emotionally. Yes. She's great. Um, Fantastic. But yeah, I do think the backstories of a lot of the characters, like, they get, like, one scene with their, like, former husband, yeah. right? Literally. Like, one like scene. One we get scene. John Bernthal for one scene. Spoiler. Um, <laughs> we get Spoiler. Michelle Rodriguez's husband. I don't know if I didn't write his name down. Barely got him for one scene. He's, like, not even in the shot. Scene? I don't know. Scene. He's in like, it. One scene. Um, yeah. And also, Good Carrie point. Coon will let the, yeah, Carrie Coon's, like, husband. She didn't factor in a whole lot. Um, in the film, just based on screen time, is that Amanda? Although she factored it into it more. Yeah, with the baby. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, I really loved uh, Daniel Kaluuya. I thought his performance oh, was great. Yeah, Super yeah. intimidating. Yeah, can't believe I didn't sure, every, every scene he was in, yeah. um, he just kind of stole, stole the movie. Uh, stole the movie. Yeah, for sure. That bowling, it, that bowling alley oh, scene. Oh my god! <laughs> when he's just like on the ground. Like, yeah, it's oh savage. God. Just stabbing the dude in the leg. As you're that? Up, you you're that? that? Oh, up to your chest. Oh, okay. With a pen? Was that a pen? No, it was like no. a... It was just a little knife. A meat yeah. like a scalpel or it's something? It's like or? a butter knife. I don't yeah. know. Something. Jesus. Um, but yeah, I do think overall... I think... It's like a B-movie, right? Yeah, Like, shit. the plot? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's shit. Right. <laughs> I just mean, like, the, the movie itself, like, the story of what we're seeing is, like, pretty much, like, a B-movie you'd think, like, Frank Grillo would be... Yeah, instead yeah. of Liam Neeson or something, right? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, Frank Grillo. But, um, <laughs> sorry, bud. I, f I feel like the fact that it was Steve McQueen, you know, prestige filmmaker, yeah. you know, he went in, lifted the story a little bit, lifted the, you know, the 
quality of the filmmaking higher, you know, with the editing and the way he shot the action, and obviously getting being able to get all these high caliber performers. You know, Viola Davis I thought was great, and like I said, most of the cast was great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that sort of elevated it from what would have been a pretty run of the mill action thriller heist movie um, to something that is a little bit, you know, it's above average in my opinion. It's above average. Above average. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thriller. expecting a lot more from. Yeah, definitely. That's the thing. It's one of those things where like it might sound like I didn't like it, but it's only because I'm disappointed because I expected like this yeah. amazing movie and it was just good. Yeah. You're not angry. You're just disappointed. Not Underwhelmed. Just I think is a good way to say. It. Yeah. yeah. Underwhelming. You it's think? I wouldn't say it's disappointing, out. but no. just not not quite as uh, great as it could have been. I'm glad yeah. you thanked us before the movie though. Yeah. 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 That was that was fun. Came out, Steve, buddy. Little thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, Steve thank you. McQueen. Let's give our ratings and we can get into some spoiler discussion. Um, I'm going to start off, I'm going to go I'm going to go light four. I'm going to go heavy, heavy three. Ooh. Thick, heavy three. Thick. Tick tree. Tick tree. Tick tree much. I'm going That's light expensive. four. Yeah. Skinny light four. It's weird. Light. It's in Razor that, thin. It's in that area for me, like thin. heavy right to like four. three yeah, point like, seven five. I've been tossing them up. Like, is yeah. it a four? I just don't think it's. Yeah. Well, fair warning: if you haven't seen Widows, this is your spoiler warning. We'll be, we'll be discussing <laughs> some spoiler aspects of the film. Uh, so you've been warned. Anyone in this room? <laughs> if you care, leave. Um, I guess we should start off with. I guess the biggest twist. Should we? Should we mention that? Sure. Um, What's that? <clears throat> that. We should start at the beginning. I guess. That what twist would that be? Set up the. Yeah, so set up the movie, first scene, you find out that the four criminals, Liam Neeson, John Bernthal, other two guys, other two guys, <laughs> get right. annihilated, brutally murdered, and turn into Take dust. Dust turning, blows up, their $2 million blows up with it. Dust turning the women into widows. Yes. Widows, the title of the movie. Oh. Twist, Liam Neeson is alive. Liam Neeson fucked him over. He fucked over his own team. He was supposed to make off with the two million dollars. Blew everything up. Sorry, world. And got away with the cash. Yeah. That's what. Then that's when I was like, I liked it because I was like, oh, even this guy who's like meticulously detailed and like, the like obviously the protagonist's husband. It's like even he's a scummy. Yeah. Grind. He's Liam still a Neeson, criminal. You mean? Yeah. Liam yeah. Neeson's still a giant. Like piece you think of he would too. be like the altruistic? Yeah. Like, I'm you know, doing this because like this is my living. Like that's yeah. why I'm so detailed and all that stuff. But no, even he's like. He's so Shit, detailed that he would even like fake his own death. Yeah. Just to, I guess, he couldn't get over the grief of losing his son, I'm thinking. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that broke him, I think. Caused him to have a child with the How other brutal was that one? scene, too? Mm. Yeah. Like the scene that was the very show. Where you see what happened to the son? Yeah. That was vicious. The, yeah. yeah, the the police stop was pretty savage. Steve yeah. McQueen, I, I definitely respect that he's like going out there and just making these like stands. Just like socially and with this movie, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like the, uh, obviously, if you saw the movie, you know he gets wrongfully shot by police, like while driving <laughs> his dad's car, car, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Uh, and he goes to the glove box to get his license, and the cop just shoots him, thinks he's gonna get a gun, and it was pretty like, it's like oh, pretty brutal scene. Like you think it would escalate, yeah. or just it's no, it's like very yeah. bad. and then it yeah. just cuts, and then you're just yeah. like, fuck. I did really like the scene where Viola Davis is at. I, I didn't write her name down, but Carrie Coon's character with the baby. Um, yeah. She's at her house, and the dog like goes Turns down off. to the door because like it smells or knows that Liam Neeson is there, and yeah. she's standing outside the door, and she sees the the flask, and then I think I want to say she knows in that moment. Yeah. What do we think? I think I she know. knows in that moment because she's like she sees the flask. I think. And she then I think she's like she's standing at the door like. And then her dog's still like going. She doesn't off, open she, the like, door. Picked, she doesn't open the door, but she picks but the she dog up and she runs out of there. But she she could have. I think she didn't want to know, but she knew right. that her husband was there. That's my that's my. Crazy. I think she she knew for sure that she was, that they're having an affair. Yeah. I don't know if she for sure knew that he was still alive at that time. Right. Right. But she for sure knew that they're like fuck. My husband was messing around with me. Crazy. I thought that was pretty crazy, just because the way they set up their characters uh, with the first half of the film, right? Like Steve McQueen wanted to show them as being this. Loving, yeah, you know, Madly marriage love. made in heaven. Like I don't know, just a super loving relationship, and then all of a sudden it's sort of turned on its end, right? And especially at the very end of the film when Liam Neeson's just like, "You're gonna have to give me the money," kind of thing. And they, she turns around, and he's there, or whatever. And uh, I was just shocked that he actually was legit gonna shoot her in 
that moment, and she had to kill him. It was yeah. oh. crazy. So, like, But yeah. then you get the classic trope where, like, right. the gun's off camera, and you hear gunshot, you're like, who oh. shot who? I'm like, by the way, I was shot Liam Neeson, obviously. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty weak. That's, like, the things that I don't like, is, like, Steam Queen, I expected a little bit more from him, and he does, like, what every other yeah. director would have done. For yeah. the plebs. He had to do one for the plebs. Yeah, do one for the plebs. You gotta give something That's why he thanked the plebs for coming out to see his movie. That is what it felt like, actually, yeah. I, you guys are here you by guys mistake. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did like seeing Daniel Kaluuya's character go out with the bang. Oh my um, goodness, get fucked, get Daniel. fucked up, bud. He thought yeah. he was getting away with yeah. he was like, added again that. He's like, band. these idiots, I've been watching them, I know, you know, they're just going to walk me, walk the money right to me, basically. Mm-hmm. He's going to get away clean with this extra cash. Wrong. Sorry, bud. Get rammed. I love that scene though when he's like driving away and he's got the debate on. Yeah. And then like he's like cheering. He's like, "Yeah, you get him, you get him." And then like you can see like in the blurry car come up and like hit him from behind, and then he just gets absolutely wrecked. Like I like that. I was like head uh, infused into the steering wheel. By the way, yeah, yeah. yeah he, just he completely like, wrecked. Nose like goes off. I'm like, oh god. Yeah. Too yeah like, one, just immediately. Anything else you guys want to mention specifically? I have a question. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, oh, you had a question too. Yeah. Yeah, Might question. be the same question. Keep that in mind. Hopefully. Liam Neeson had a book full of like heists. Mm. His next heist was to rob Colin Farrell. However, he's working with Colin Farrell's character. Like his character is like hiding him on the him. boat. Was he just, just yeah. was that the plan? I think he was just gonna double cross him. Okay. Yeah. Then why do you not take the book with him? Like I, I, I don't get. Yeah, it's like a B movie plot. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't. It makes no sense. I'm like because it's a bad. Yeah, it's, it's melodramatic. Bad it's so <laughs> stupid. I'm like, then, if you don't want your wife to do the robbery, then why would you like? Leave the book there for her. I'm like, I don't know. He said that he want. He expected her to sell it. What? (laughs) Which is like that's a lot of trust. Yeah. Right. Coming from someone who's like having a relationship with another woman, like why would you trust her to? And like, when was he going to rob Colin Farrell then? Because he shows up, he's like, yeah, I need this money. Be like, were you robbing him soon? Because you've been waiting like a month for it. (laughs) Like I don't, I I don't get his end plan. Yeah, you're right. When you start to pick it apart, could have left with the two million. You've been hiding on Carl and Colin Farrell's boat for like a month, so like, when were you gonna get off back on shore? But also going to one of the widows' houses back and forth? And yeah, I was like, like what is happening? Looking out the Rich, window, like, hiring no a well known man like, in town who's known yeah. to be dead? What? You're like 6'4, you see. Just don't out, think like, about <laughs> it. That's a. He's you know what, Stephen Queen? Yeah, just a weird <laughs> brain. Turn it right it's off. Based on a miniseries from 1983. In, from like a British, it's a British miniseries. Yeah. It's like seven episodes. So I don't know, like, maybe he... Did not know that. I assume like growing up in Britain, Britain, he probably loved the series growing up. That's probably why Must I wanted to do it. He said, I wanted to make this, this is a, pa- a kid. This is a passion. So I don't know, like, how close of that plot he followed. Maybe, like, that's something that happens in the miniseries. And he just it was the like 80s, man. It, yeah. People didn't think in the 80s. Okay. You gotta just... Just go with it. Adam, what was the question that you had? Just a little thing I didn't fully understand. Like, so uh, Jamal comes to her apartment, threatens her, says, give me the money yeah. or I'll kill you, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So that's why she's doing the heist, right? To get the money to pay him off. Yeah. So when she got the money and they successfully do the heist, how, like, what happened to him? Is it a... S- he lost. Am I... S- but why didn't he come kill her when she didn't pay him? Or am I to assume she did his, pay him? His plan was to have Daniel <coughs> Kaluuya steal the money that they were going to get. Because they probably... I, I'm trying to remember... I think that was Daniel's plan. I don't think he told his brother he was doing that. You don't think so? No. That was just... He was just went rogue. Yeah. And <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad plan if you think about it. But Because how much money did... Um, they got five million. They got five and he, she only owed two. Yeah. Right? yeah. So they would have netted three million dollars, right? Um, so I mean, I guess it makes sense if you're, you know, Brian Tyree Henry, and you think that or Jamal, I guess, and you're thinking, you know, you or you realize how they're gonna do it, you know, from surveillance of them, you know, staking out um, Colin Farrell's character. If they figure out that there's actually five million, well, why would they? They why want would they all sell five. for two. Yeah. They want. Why would they sell for two? They get yeah. five, right? But whether or not it was Daniel Kaluuya on his own or not, I don't think. I don't think it matters, right? Because I think right. she, I think she paid him like at the end. Brian Tyree Henry. Yeah, yeah I, I think so. I think the 
when just, they got the money, they like they settled. They up. settled. It up. seemed like an odd thing to skip over, though. Yeah, incredibly peculiar thing to skip. This is literally like the crux of why yeah. Viola Davis <laughs> is doing this. Because you always got money, and then what yeah. the fuck? <laughs> like that blew me away. Yeah. When the movie ended, I was like, "What happened?" To, like, am I to assume Daniel Kaluuya dying was like cutting all ties, and now Brian Tyree Henry doesn't need the money because Kaluuya's dead? Mm. But I guess he lost. Like, they needed the money to like. They needed the money for, for the campaign, campaign but then he anyway. lost the campaign because Robert Duvall died, right? Right. Simple Which was fucked. Yeah. Great. I don't know if I liked him in the movie. Great. Like, I didn't... Well, oh, performance-wise, or...? He was just an old man. Just the I character. Thought I thought the oh, character, character was bad. The yeah. character was, like, very tropey. Like, just yeah. oh, crotchety old... Absolutely. Crotchety old racist guy. Racist, racist guy who yeah. used to be the alderman, and, like, he's yeah, trying to get a son that's back. true. Like, what the fuck you go fuck get the fuck out of my house I still whoop I'll your ass I'll shoot you all <laughs> like one gun it was like uh, you're not gonna win this pops no. yeah, he, well, and he all the women were like actually. deer in headlights until Michelle Rodriguez there, I, I will say it was a little bit um, I guess Shout yeah a little Ty. bit tropey a little bit cliche that they all kind of just got away you know all the I, widows I, I think like one of them get shot or something yeah I like well, the they all ended pretty happily bit. for them that's what I was gonna say I like the character arc end. for Viola She's not just a cold bitch. Throws out that. How were you, by the way? Yes. Like, I think. You know, yeah, I think she like wants friends. to be friends. Yeah. I think like that so scene when the guy friends. comes into like. How you want to be friends? And she gives bitch. him the money. Well, I think like when she gives that guy the money and, and is like, "Open a library in my son's name." Mm. I think that's like for her like the end of like her dealing with this criminal life, right. and now she can go back to being Viola Davis's character. You don't think Widows Two is happening? That, that last thing, "How you doing?" is, "Hey, you want to do another heist?" Or? <gasps> Franchise, baby. Widow's Queen. Baby. Viola. <laughs> Liam's back. <laughs> Michelle Rodriguez. Back from the dead. He didn't Bad know Moms died there. 3. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know there was a 2. Get hyped. I think there's a 2. There was a 2. Probably a 2. Gross. Christmas one, right? Producer Ty, oh. chime in. Can confirm there is 2 Bad Moms. How many have you seen? Oh. Classic. Ooh. Knew it. But yeah. any, anything specific that you guys all want to mention? <sighs> No, I thought that'll do it. I like the, oh, some oh, some oh, of the camera work oh, was nice. Oh. Like that scene where she camera dropped her dog off. I was like, that's a nice shot. Like the, in the center is the dog thing. I, I, like there were some, a few, the, the the limousine shots. There was a few here and there. Yeah. When the reporter's trying to get to him, but like you literally can't see the reporter from some ways. Yeah. It's like he's trying to block it with the yeah. crowd. And then, I agree. I, I like, there were really some nice. parts that I was like, that's cool. Like that's great. Really that's cool. That's cool. The craft was well done. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you will. Some of it. Well, it's got to elevate the plot somehow, right? Yeah. Not with the, the plot. <laughs> when he's walking, th- when he's walking through, and he's like, "I haven't read that one." I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, yeah, it was creepy. chilling. Yeah, it was he was chilling, chilling too in that scene. Him and Kaluuya. Yeah. Great. That. That's why I liked it. All right, that'll do it for our review of Widows. Tim, where can people find us? Uh, people can find us on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook at Up Real Late Podcast. You can find me Correct. personally on Letterboxd at Up Real Tim and on Instagram at The Craft Pundit. You can find me on uh, Letterboxd, Wicked Swami, pumping out a lot of movies in November. Ooh. Oscar season coming up, so just ripping them out there. You can find me on Twitter at Franny25 and Instagram at Letterboxd.UpRealAdam. Find myself, Scott, on Letterboxd at UpRealScott. As well, if you do like this video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section if you want to join our discussion. And, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And as always, keep it real. <laughs>